Hey, how's it going? Nice, lovely day out here on the island. Going for a little bit of a swim. <laughs> Playing with the bass a little bit. We actually needed some more resources. Today, we're doing some building. So we've kind of been busy doing the boss fights in the past couple of videos, getting ready for them, doing them, and kind of burned out on me. And not gonna lie, thought about doing the tech cave again today, but we are playing with some tech. So got a couple items we're gonna build and keep here at base. And then there's some things I wanna spawn in just to check out and we'll of course trash them whenever we're done. The main thing I wanna build is the replicator of course, kind of a key component for all of it. I think we have to go over to the obelisk, the green one, and build it over there. So we'll load up the Argentavis and head out that way. And then what I want to build too is the generator, of course, to run stuff, and then the tech feeding trough. That's kind of why I had to go out and get some more of the black pearls. Found another one of the Alpha Moses. Dude, it's like Herbivore Island is a place to go for the Alpha Moses and normal squids. But we've got 122 more on the pearls. That should be enough for today. That'll put us a little over 400 on the black pearls. Super expensive for building tech stuff, man. Haven't done it in a very long time. Let's leave Junior right here. We'll head over and take our fins off. We'll grab the bird, bring him back over here, and then empty him out. I don't think he can actually make it all the way up the, the river over there. But it's going to be a very relaxing day today, man. Scorched Earth is coming out. Where is the secret door? It's a secret, man. <laughs> no telling where it is. Scorched Earth is coming out in one more day. Hopefully tomorrow. If so, we'll be heading over there. So we might get a couple things ready. Not exactly sure what we're taking. But we'll kind of figure that out later, man. Let's turn off that. And Junior still's got some food and stuff in him, right? He does. Let's put this stuff. I want to leave these guys. I need to kind of keep them separate from the other ones. Put this stuff into the refrigerator real quick. Drop those there. We can leave the flag in here. We can actually leave our scuba stuff as well. But yeah, I thought that the 302 was going to be enough for those three items. It's, it's not. Holy crap, is it not? And we still got to make up some more of the polymer. Shouldn't be an issue. We have all the stuff. We just actually need to make it. Now, I'm planning on putting the replicator right there. Not sure if we're going to pick it up. I might just kind of throw out some of the stone foundations. Put it out over there by the base, build stuff. I don't plan on leaving the replicator out because we forgot the bird. <laughs> because we're not going to use it very often. I don't like tech stuff too much, man. The main thing for tech that I like is the generator course, which is fantastic. I hope that the range is super big on it. Now, I haven't looked anything up to see what the new stuff was or if they change any of the parts. So it's going to be kind of uh, interesting to see. But I'm hoping that the range is a lot further on the generator than the two that we have here. I'm hoping to get rid of both of our generators and just have one. I don't know if it's going to come all the way out over here. Would be fantastic if it does. We'll keep this stuff. I don't care about the oil, Junior. You can kind of keep that. The pearls. We can actually move. Put these into your inventory. I need that cryopod bag to pick him up. This stuff not worried about. We'll take all the meat and stuff and cook it up. We definitely want that. This stuff, it's... Uh, it's all trash, man. We'll keep that. It's fine. It's fine. Let's get our cryo back from the bird. And pick up that guy. But other than that, man, not doing too much today at all. Just taking it easy before the, uh, the trip over to the desert. Super excited, man. Really hope they did a lot of work on Scorched Earth. Now, I think some of the caves are going to be different. I can't remember where I read it, but I heard that some of the caves have been, like, totally redone. Like, the ones here on the island... They didn't really change the caves around, they just added some of the the different uh, foliage and stuff, right? So I'm super, super curious what they changed on that. And then we got the new paid DLC mods and stuff, right? I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. I I'm not really wanting to mess with mods, but I don't think it's going to be baked into the base game. I wish it was. And I'm not sure if that's coming out on release or if that's coming out after. So it might be a very, very busy day. We'll have to wait and see. Drop those in there. Get some food cooking up. And give me all that stuff. We can actually walk. Alright, put all these in here. And we'll drop the whale back off where he belongs. Nice, man. Nice. So the cat soul, how much weight have we got on you? Okay. Can't hover over it in... Do you not hover over it and see the stats? Well, I mean, that's fine. I'll just throw you out. It doesn't really matter to me. Not sure if that has more weight than the Argentavis or not. 2,800? 19, okay, so you got quite a bit more. Let's go ahead and just, let's take these. We'll put them into the one folder. It should be empty. They got the higher damage. I need to get rid of these other ones. 
All of these, they got the lower damage. Let's put them in there, it'll be fine. Have the UD in there as well. Give me this back, please, and thank you. So what we're gonna need, let me show you real quick. For the first one, we're gonna need 150 on the Black Pearls, 100 Element, 800 on the Polymer, 600 Crystal, and 5,000 Metal Ingots. Definitely have enough for that. The Generator is another 2,400 on the Metal Ingots, and 120 Black Pearls. And this is kind of cheap here to make. Not too bad at all, man. 900 on the Metal Ingots, and then 45 on the Black Pearls. So, we'll have to make sure we got enough for those three. Now, for the Generator, I plan on putting it in here. We'll go ahead and just replace ours up there, take it down. And if it can reach all the way out to the Dino Storage, that would be fantastic. If not, not a big deal. We'll just leave the gas one in there. And then the feeding trough, depending on the range, I wouldn't mind having it here at base because it's also acts like a refrigerator, right? I know, man, I know. Don't judge me for eating out of the dino's bin, but I do. <laughs> I keep all my meat in there usually because it's got a whole bunch of storage slots and it's refrigerated. Otherwise, if it's got a short range, we'll go ahead and just put it in here. Now, I'm thinking about replacing both of these and just letting everybody eat out of the same one. We've got a ton of fish meat and stuff. So, I need to do a lot of farming to get black pearls, right? Over there where the squids and stuff are. So, I have a lot of fish meat. Might just leave that in the feeding troughs for people to eat off of. We don't have the otters anymore. We got one, but he's in the crowd pod. Not really anything up here. How is your levels? Go ahead and increase that. Do you got some oil for me? You do. I like it. Kind of, uh, kind of bare up here. We need to get some more of the otters and put them over there. But that's for a different point in time. So yeah, we'll replace those. And we should be good to go, man. Let's close that for safety. Just saying. Never be too safe. Let's see about moving some of these items over. We'll drop off the oil. Let's pull the bird a little bit closer. We might actually need to use both. How much does a stack of metal weigh? That's the thing. That's the main part, is the metal. 6,000, so 5,000 pounds. Okay, that's 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 more than we have on both of these guys combined. I know, don't look at me like that. It's not my fault. Hey, I'm not the one who gave you such a low carry weight, okay? You haven't been bred. Yep, there you go, man. Stare off into space, boy. Tell you what. I'll leave you here when we go to Scorched Earth. Uh, pr probably not. Gonna need you for, for moving stuff around, but... So we're gonna need polymer. Now we should have some regular. I want to get rid of that first. Wait, 395, 399, was it 500? One, that'd be 400. That's 500, right? Double check. Always check your math. 800, I'll right, just take it all, man. <laughs> It'll be fine, dude. It'll be fine. You know math is not my strong suit, okay? That's why they make calculators. And then we're gonna need, was it 600 on the crystal? 600 crystal, 100 elements. We definitely got the crystal. Okay, some for you. We'll grab the 100 elements. Plenty of that, man. Oh, dude, it's so nice. So that's one good thing about me not using tech too much, is I got plenty for the generators all the time. Now, whenever we check out the teleporters, I also want to spawn in one of the transmitters and then the shield as well. Just to see how that kind of is. I don't know if anything changed on that. We'll mess around with the tech suit or anything. It's just like the basic tech suit. I think the only thing to change on that is you can actually put skins on it now, which we don't have any skins, so not really a issue. 150 of you. We can barely walk. And then I might spawn in... Just a foundation. I want to see how the foundation looks, and maybe the roof. I think they change the texture a little bit on those. So that's good on you. Let's grab some metal ingots, man. I need 5,000. That is nuts, dude. It's going to be a lot of trips. Alright, give me a minute. Let me get all these over to them. And then we'll get out to the obelisk. And try to get this thing made. It's going to be a couple trips, I bet. You don't get a reduction, do you? Oh, you do. Half. That's not too bad. Maybe I'll put this stuff into that bird. Let's do that. And put most of the metal ingots into the Argentavis. And we'll just fly with both of them over there. It's going to be a long trip. Holy crap, it is so far away. I don't think on single player you can actually make it in a supply drop. Not even any down over here, I don't think. So what over there? 
I think that's servers only. Like, on single player, you can't start boss fights from the supply drops. Which is weird. I mean, you would figure anything you can do on a server, you should be able to do on single player. But it's not really the case. Super weird, man. Don't eat the polymer, Junior, please. If you're hungry, which you are, I can give you a little bit of food. Let's grab him some real quick. Actually, well... I'll give him this. Hey, meat, right? He does. Little dude has it eight in days, man. Holy crap, dude. His food is way down there. That should be enough, though. It's actually going to be more than we need. All right, so it didn't really work out with the two birds. I could fit everything into both of them, but we were moving at, like, snail speed. So flew over here with one set of the metal ingots. We got the rest of everything in this guy. Get this thing made up real quick. Kind of sucks, man, that you can't actually make this in the fabricator and stuff. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. There we go, man. All right, so... Hopefully, I did our math correctly and we have all of our stuff. But yeah, it's super weird that you can't make this in a supply drop and stuff, man. I need to double check the math on the polymer because I want to use all of the organic first because it's going to spoil. Otherwise, like I said, we're leaving this map here soon and everything will be setting until we come back. So, 800. So we got 400, so we need 401. That should be good there. Structures. Crafting. Why is my stuff not coming up whenever I hover over? Have I hit a, a key or something? Is it Q? Not Q. Where is the tooltips, man? There's a button for that. I probably fat fingered and hit it and turned it off. It happens, man. It happens. There's our one replicator. <laughs> All that weight. And it weighs a whole four pounds whenever you craft it. It's kind of weird, man. So, speaking of birds and stuff, that's the one thing that really sucks, man, is right now, so we got the Argentavis, right? Kind of useful for everything. Let's eat some food. A little bit of water. Kind of useful for everything, has the weight reduction on stuff, and you can't really pick up too many creatures other than the normal ones. The Quetzal used to be good because you could pick up more creatures, but now that we got the attack helicopter, I'm a cool looking Bronto. Now that we got the helicopter, it kind of puts it to where the Quetzal doesn't have a use, man. I mean, of course, it is hard to tame and breed up... Raptors. It's hard to tame and breed up the helicopters, but for the most part, man, once you get them, the, the Quetzal has no use. Wish there was a TLC update for it, and they did something special for that guy, just to make him useful again. Whether it's... I don't know, maybe some type of a reduction on certain resources or things like that, but it's a cool creature, man. I like using them because they're they're massive, man. You'd think they'd be able to pick up everything, but you just can't, so kind of sucks, man. Is what it is. Not sure what we're taking over to Scorched Earth. I thought about taking the Quetzal and leaving the Argentavis here. We still might do that because, like I said before, man, I just kind of get tired of using the Argentavis for everything. It's like, it's a good thing, but a bad thing at the same time, you know? Plus, this one, man, this one's got an attitude like crazy. Can't stand it! So rude, man. So we got two options for the replicator. We could just put a platform out over here. I want to see how big it is first. We should, we'll kind of check that over at the obelisk. There's a snack right there. I guess Junior left one. I didn't see it. There we go. I'll leave you out, buddy. Let you tread your wings. Do not hit my tree. Dude, <laughs> that would be the thing. We lose a tree on the last day that we're here. I would be so, so sad because this whole base, man, was built around that tree, and that tree. So how big is... this? Still massive. We can actually put that inside of our... greenhouse? That's kinda weird! I'm <laughs> just saying. Is it the same size? The same size as that. I thought it was. The same footprint and stuff. Can I actually put it there and use it? I mean... at my work! So that's a replicator. And that's a forge. Look, dude, we could just leave it as a hybrid uh, piece of equipment there. Looks super weird. We're not going to leave it, man. We're not going to leave it. It's going to be there just for today, though. Well, we might put it over there. Well, all we have to build is two items, right? Let's put it over there by base. It'll be fine. I don't want to have to shuttle everything so far over here because it is super heavy on weight. We'll just set out a couple of the foundations over here and drop it on top of that. Put you right there. Enjoy that sun, buddy. Get a nice tan. Stretch your wings. Being inside the crowd pot all the time. Alright, so. 
foundations. We have a ton. Like I said, I picked up everything from the old base. We're not building a permanent structure here. It's going to be just for crafting. We might just do it right here. It had to clip in the wrong spot. And the thing that sucks is you have to waste a piece of element. I know it sucks to uh, turn it on, right? I don't think it runs off of the generator unless they change that. I'm, I'm hoping they did. Really, really hoping they did. But I highly doubt that they actually adjusted that. So we're going to need all of these. We'll leave those. I don't want to throw them because sometimes these things glitch into the ground. Grab the rest of the pearls. We're going to need to make some polymer for sure. We should have some in the bird still. Is there a cold wave coming? It has a blue tint outside. It is. Nice, man. Nice. I like when there's a cold waves. I'm a fan of blue, if you haven't noticed. So we'll put all of this in here. Go around the other side. We cannot make it in. Holy crap, dude. You know, we could actually add a separate area on over here just for the replicator, too, if we wanted to. I mean, we'll come back eventually to do some stuff. Might do a small little base remodel then. And try to figure out how to put this thing out there and leave it kind of set up. We're going to need the paste, for sure. Because we are making some... Polymer. Can I reach this and that? I can't if I stand right here. Obsidian. That's perfect, man. We just need to be there all the time. I think... That'll be enough of the obsidian. Let's grab some elements, and we'll turn this on and let it craft while we get the rest of our stuff. Let's just put all of it in there. For now. It costs one whole sheet to turn it on. Seven days of fuel. That is a lot if you leave it on all the time, I'm just saying. I mean, it's a lot of element, not a lot of time. Holy crap. I do like the fuel on these now. Tells you how long it has before it turns off. So let's get some polymer going. Let's just do all of it. Is that a one-for-one? One? It is. We're going to need some more of the obsidian. I want to see if the animation looks the same. All right, make all that up. That'll be enough for some of the stuff. It looks the same. I didn't know if the lighting would be different with ASA versus ASC. Always liked the way that it looked, man. I like with S+, Plus the small version of it, too. Dude, it looks so cool, man. Sitting on a table, running all the time because it runs off the generator. So we're going to need some crystal. If you didn't know, and you're new to ARC, a lot of people are with ASA. Most of the tech stuff all requires polymer, um, black pearls, crystal, some metal ingots, and the element. For the most part. Let's just grab a little bit more so we have it all in here. I'll empty this out whenever we're done. So that'll be enough. We're going to need... I need to turn this back on. Give me a second. Let me try to figure out which button I hit. Is it G? Might be G. Not that. Wrong button. Not that. Oh, there we go. So G will turn that on and off. That's what it is. So we're going to need some metal ingots. Then we're kind of good for that. Now I'm hoping we got enough. If not, we got a lot of stuff that we can grind. I mean, a lot of metal parts. we got 6,000. That should be fine, dude. Should be fine, man. Turn folder view off. Can we make the generator? We can. Stop that. Let's get that going. Feature off. We're missing electronics. We have some? We might. We do. Perfect, man. Perfect. One of those. And we'll do the rest of the polymer, too. So, again, if you didn't know, man... All this stuff that you can make in, like, the chemistry bench or the fabricator, stuff like that, it, uh, it all makes faster in the replicator, right? Super fast. So we need you and you. We're taking all the element that should run for a few minutes. We've got five minutes. That'll be done before then. I if I should grab some more of... I mean, it's fine. A little bit of polymer doesn't hurt. Let's see about this. We'll set this up first, of course. See how it is. I pick up you. That is the most terrifying sound in the world, man. Whenever your, all your power turns off, 
especially over on Scorched Earth. Again, it's it's a terrifying thing over there because whenever stuff turns off, it's because your generator probably broke. The heat tears everything up over there, and I always forget to repair my generators. And I usually end up losing them. It's hanging off a little bit, but that kind of works for reaching it. Let's put all of our element in there. We don't need it for anything else. So that's going to last 3,000 days. Holy crap, dude. I like that. Oh, no. 300 days almost. thought that was a zero. Wait a minute. That provides light now. Looks like a nightlight for our bed, man. I like it, dude. I like it. Let's turn on the range. Where's the range at? Show range. Please. Please be bigger than the normal one. I want to see if this is going to be powered. Are you done crafting? You are. Requires element to be activated. Wait. That's... That's running off the generator. That's running off the generator! Oh, dude, that's fantastic. I think in... Wasn't it in ASC? It didn't run off of the generator? Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. I think it did, and that might have been part of S+. Oh, that's fantastic, dude. Look, we need to empty all this stuff out, though. I got so much metal ingots in there, so I can actually get behind there without going around. Let's go around. I want to check and see if... That's a very large range. Does that cover the whole... Dino area? Please cover the whole inside, at least up to where the generator is with the... The, uh, air conditioners. Oh, dude, look at it. That is perfect, man! That is a massive range. Covers all the way out to the edge. We could actually put some lights up here if we wanted, on the sides, and still have it covered. So, what we're gonna do... Come back in through here. You know what I should do? I should really put some stairs right there. I'm just saying, man. Let's grab this. Pick this up. Nice, dude. Nice! That is fantastic! So what do I might do here? Probably still leave this. Is this empty? It's got some saddles. Let's put this inside. Just so that there's a use for this cubby hole. I kind of like it, man. To be honest with you. Stick it out of the top. I think we're good. So that works there, man. That is fantastic. I am so glad that ranges so far. So, as for this... Oh, it's a lot of the berries, dude. That was like all of our purple berries, too. Let's take all of you... I was gonna say, that's weird that it lets me pick all of it up. It's not quite all of it. Drop you there. And we'll take all of this. Let's demolish these. I don't want to keep them. No point in it. Do we have the new one on us? We do. Let's put you... Right there. We'll have to see what the range is. Let's drop... Well, should be able to pick those up. There we go. And that'll be good for everybody. They are tearing that fish meat up. Holy crap, dude. That was all of our berries that we had for the purple ones left over. Because I'm out of the... I was out of the yellow and the blue, and the I was using a lot of the colored berries for doing all of our theories, man. These guys eat so much, dude. Like, holy crap. So the range on this... Please be very far. Oh, it's not. That's the exact same range as a normal one. What? I thought I had a further range. Because the other one came out to right about here as well. I'll drag the little ones out, leave them about here. Actually, that's a little bit shorter. The other ones came out to about right here. Hmm. Disappointed in that, but it is refrigerated, so that food will last a very long time. And not have to worry about it. So you got 100 slots on this, I think it's like... 40 or 60 on the normal ones? I broke them both. We'll craft one and see. Check out the difference in them. Let's set it right here and see what the range is. Same range, okay. It's not shorter. Exact same range. You've got 60 slots, okay. That's what it is. 
And that one's got 100. But again, refrigerated, man. Very, very nice. All right, let's demolish you once again. Turn off your range. I like it, dude. I like it. That is not bad, dude. But something you can do, too, is I think you can put the eggs in there as well. A little bit more testing. Hold on. Give me one of these. I think we're going to do wait. I don't want his damage to be up any higher because we're almost getting to the point where he'll pick up eggs over here and it'll start picking them up out of the hatching area. You can. So you can actually store your eggs in there, too, if you wanted to. That's not too bad, man. It's not too bad at all. All right. Let's eat a snack. A little bit of lunch. Close this. We'll turn off the range on the generator, which is fantastic, if I might add. Let's pick this up. I need to pick all of our stuff up out of here as well. Do not demolish. Holy crap, dude. That would be so sad. Wait a minute. Wireless crafting. We need the dedicated storage, I think, for that to work, right? I think he, uh, yeah, I think it pulls out of the dedicated storage, which we don't have on, oh, we got it unlocked. We could make it. I don't really want to put dedicated storage in here, though. I like our, our little base. I don't want to do too much tech, you know? Let's pick you up. I was going to say, where's the bag, dude? There's so much stuff in there. we got three hours. Give me a minute. What I'm going to do is... Well, let's turn this off now. I'm going to go ahead and pick all that stuff up. Put it back into the vault. I'm going to spawn in a couple items for us to do some testing with. Before we go. Hide range. That makes me happy, though. At the range on that. And then you can run the generator off of it as well. Super nice, dude. Super nice. I'll have to check back. We're playing ASC on... My private server. I'll have to check and see if we can do it normally. With running a, a vanilla one off of the tech generator or not. We got S Plus installed too, but we got all the normal stuff. So, kind of curious if that works like that now. If so, fantastic change. I'm not sure where to put the replicator. Maybe just keep it in here. Should be fine. Alright, spawned in a little bit of stuff to play with. All that I grabbed was a couple of the teleporters, one large to show you how big they used to be, if you haven't ever seen it before. And then I think we need two of each of the medium and smalls. I mean, you got, got to be able to teleport from one place to another. I've just got one foundation. Take a look at, see how the texture is on that. I've got a couple walls. I want to see how the doors are, as well as these for the windows. And then just a ceiling, again, to see the texture. And then a force field and the transmitter. So... You can put that on the ground. I think you used to have to put it on a foundation, right? Let's do it over here where we can see. I kind of like having this little deck out here, too. We might end up leaving this. And I might just kind of put some stairs right here, going off that way. And then... Maybe stairs this way and that way. Stairs all the way around. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. So... This. Right there. We'll put this down as well. Is this smaller than it used to be? I think it is. Interesting. And then... We'll do that stuff here in a minute. Let's take a look at these. So, the transmitter. Turn it on. So we still got the light beam. And it's still super loud. Ah, uh, dude, I was hoping they were going to muffle the sounds. And make it not as annoying. Because the light beam looks fantastic on this thing. But, it's super loud. New texture, new lights. Looks good. So, if you didn't know, this you can actually use to... Set up and do your boss fights here at base. So instead of going to the obelisk all the time, you do not set this right at your base. Because if you got, like, your teams out, like that guy, and you start the boss fight, he will get sucked into the boss arena. So <laughs> you always build it off out of the uh, the base area, man. Kind of off to the side. So it's kind of nice. Do all your stuff there. Now you cannot do the tech cave out of it, but it acts just like an obelisk. You got your attributes. You got your creatures to upload if you don't want to use the cryopods. Not sure why you would. And then your normal inventory here which you can use to upload stuff to different maps and stuff. So it's not too bad, man. Kind of wish we had the stuff to build one. I don't think we do, right? These are spawned in, so we're not keeping them. Oh, my Ingrams are still going to show there because I was in creative mode to grab this. So it kind of works out. We've got... We could. We could build one. And have it here at base. I think. How is our pearls? Take a look and see. 
We do. We might do that. So we'll go ahead and trash that one and then build one more before we go. And we might just set it up right there. And then we've got this is the shield generator. Requires element to be activated. Oh, we cannot run this without having element in it. That sucks, dude. It's going to be super expensive. Let's go ahead and grab one sheet. I will spawn one back in to refund myself here shortly. Let's just grab, I just want one. That way we can see how long it runs for off of one sheet. Now I think with the generator and stuff, you can actually use shards as well. If you're moving around a lot, it's kind of better to use the shards because every time you turn something on that requires element or turn it off, it eats, consumes one unit. So, one unit of shards is a lot less than one sheet of element. So, just a, uh, again, another tip for people that are just now starting arc. 30 minutes. 30 minutes for one whole sheet of element. Holy crap, dude, that is very expensive. Activate. Barrier build up. Oh, it's right, it's got a timer. Five minutes. So we'll do... We'll wait, we'll wait and see. We'll turn it on, see where it's at, and then we'll increase it to max, just to see how big it is. I'm hoping it's at least a range of the generator. I mean, that's a huge area. Probably maybe half of that, if anything. So, we'll wait on that. We'll play with this other stuff real quick. Let's put out this to see what it looks like. Looks almost the same. A little bit different. Does that have mud on it? That's got mud on it! That is kind of interesting. I mean, we're in the mud, right? Let's see something. Has it down here, too. I'm gonna say, if that was an only down by the river thing, that would be fantastic. Looks cool, though. How loud is it? It's quieter than it used to be. I don't know if you can hear it on the recording. It sounds almost like metal. A little bit different, but it used to be super loud. Now, here's the thing, man. I keep talking about how loud stuff is. I like the sounds in Ark, but sometimes they're way too much, man. For things that are at base like that, should be a lot less than what it is. This is definitely tolerable. For walking on it all day long. Hmm, interesting. Wanted to see how the ceiling looks. Texture is a little bit different. I kind of like this better than the old kind. Get rid of that. It's almost more like metal now than it was before. But you still have the lights on the sides too. It's kind of the whole tech thing, you know? Got the lights everywhere. Let's see about the doors and the walls real quick. Is this a half ones? That's the quarter ones. I spawned in the wrong doors. Can I still do this even though I turn creative mode off? I can't. Give me a second. Let me get back in the creative mode. Let me grab some proper doors. And then be able to test it out. Well, let's see how these, these are real quick. It's going to be the railing. The railings are kind of cool. All right. Give me a second. Let me grab some more parts. I uh, wasn't paying attention whenever I grabbed the, the wrong ones. All right. Got our stuff. So, I grabbed some pillars as well. Take a look at those. So, the normal normal wall looks like a wall. It's a normal doorway. We're not checking out all the parts. There's just some things that I want to see how they are versus how they used to be, you know? Secret door. Don't really care about that. So, that looks more small than it used to be. Kind of works, though. That's the double doorway. And then the window wall. That's a plain wall there. Hmm. This is the best part about tech that I like, is these. Because normally, you know, I don't like having doors on my stuff, and with these, <laughs> it's a door, but it's not. But, it's a door. So nice, man, so nice. Is there any other options on these? Oh, there is. Holy crap, dude. So, auto-open, auto-close, stay open. Pin codes, all that kind of stuff. Because for the big gateways, you definitely need to set the timers for a longer stay open. That way you don't get halfway in with your tame, and it gets stuck. And what's the point of this? Oh! Interesting! You can actually see out of it like that. That's kind of cool! It's a little stuff, man. It's a little stuff. Not sure if vanilla was like that. I don't think they had the tech windows like that. Maybe there was. Maybe there wasn't. I never used them. Let's see about these pillars real quick, then we'll do the... Teleporters. So there's a normal one. They do have the thin ones. Okay, cool. I was hoping they would. 
Number one looks good. Looks like it used to, kind of. I don't know. I almost want to say I like the texture on the old parts better. I'm not sure. We'll have to see as we uh, build with them eventually. And then with this, I don't know if I like how there's texture on one side but not the other. Almost looks like a mini elevator railing, you know, that goes up. Hmm. Not sure how I feel. Anyways, <laughs> again, not a full tutorial on all this stuff. I just want to see how they are. So, if you didn't know before, let's start with the large one. Oh, wait, the generator's on, or the uh, shield. That is very tiny. It's super loud as well. Does that put off lights? Looks like it. Is that a double force field? Almost looks double from this angle. How big does it get, though? Maximum. That's what we're worried about. The maximum size of this thing. Is that it? I think that's it. It's kind of small, to be honest with you. Wait a minute! That's not 30 minutes! Is that like six minutes for one whole sheet of element? So it's six times, so that's gonna be six sheets. That is nuts, man. That is nuts! Ten sheets. It's not gonna even last you that long. That's gotta be wrong, right? Is that how much it costs on vanilla ASC? That is super expensive, but for the range, it's not very far either. That might actually be just big enough for our base if we put it in the top up there. I mean, we're not going to. Not for that cost. Holy crap, dude. And it doesn't run off the generator. But if you're wondering about the size, it's probably about the size of my base. Just to have enough room on the side like this to be able to get your tames in and out. But yeah, that's a, that's a good judge on how big of an area you get. Because it kind of covers all the way back to here. That's it. it. It would cover all of it. Hmm. That is super expensive. I do like the light on it, though. All of the tech stuff seems to provide quite a bit of light around it. Which is cool, man. It's like a... It's like a bright white with a blue tint. Interesting. Let's try something real quick, too. wonder if you can paint it. Not the... The structure itself, but the actual shield. I think you could. I know S plus you could. You go up to the edge here. Oh, you can. <laughs> That's nice, dude. I like the look of the normal one, but sometimes seeing it all the time flash outside of your base gets kind of old, so being able to paint it is definitely a good thing. Nice, man. Nice. Let's turn it off. That is so expensive, dude. Three more minutes for one whole sheet. Turn you off, too. That sucks. We can't actually run that off the generator. Even if we put a higher draw on the generator, that'd be something cool, too, if they could actually do it without bugging everything else. I mean... It's wild card, man. A lot of stuff gets broke that shouldn't be. But, if they made it to where stuff like this could run off the generator, but it has a higher draw and a more consumption on just the generator generator itself, that would be kind of cool. It's not going to happen, but it would be kind of cool. So, teleporters. Now that it's raining. Large one. Requires placement on floor, so we need a foundation, but that's how big that the old ones used to be, and there was only one, man. There was only one in ASC, and that thing was massive, dude. Holy crap, we are not setting this out to test it. Let's grab some foundations, and we'll do the smalls and the medium. Not that many. Not that many. I mean, that might, might be fine. Set them up over here. Shouldn't need to be too big, I wouldn't think. We do have a small and medium. Let's go a little bit bigger on the sides here. That's fine, that's fine. So, we've got a medium. Let's do the smalls first, of course. Small one on that corner. And a small one on this corner. They look pretty cool, man. Gonna be honest. So again, haven't done testing, haven't done reading. I'm thinking these are for personal only. Maybe the medium ones. I don't know if you can take tames on the mediums. But the large should be for large creatures, I guess. Let's, um... Do you have anything special here? Rename it. Pick it up. 
Public teleportation. Demolish or teleport to. Let's go to the other one. And boom, we're here. <laughs> I like that, man. It's kind of what I was wanting at our bases. Now, the problem is... That requires... Does that require... Yep, tech generator required to use. Oh, and the Ingram. Interesting. So you'd have to have a generator at one base and a different base. That's the part that kind of sucks, man. I mean, it's understandable, but kind of sucks. Oh, that's a lot bigger. Let's do... You there? And you there? Now, don't forget these things that we spawned in. They're all going to be trashed before we go. They're just here for testing. So it works the same way. Now, can you go from a small to a medium? Oh, you can! Travel to medium. Interesting. So if you have a base, let's say we built a small cabin up in the snow just to have one, and we don't have any teams up there, but we got some, maybe it's our mining camp. You can have one of these up there, and then you have, like, this down here, this normal base. Now, we should be able to teleport with the Therry and stuff, right? With the mediums? Are you for a minute, Junior? A little bit of radiation for some testing. <laughs> That's the way that it goes. Obviously, we cannot go to the small one. It is. Takes us and the tame. Interesting! So, let's do something. I think I have a saddle for a Giga. I want to see if you can actually put something larger than the platform on that and still use it. Or if it's limited to a certain size. It's it's science day, man. Look, we usually don't do these, but kind of curious about a lot of stuff. Give me a minute. Let me find on Dodo Dex the code for a tamed Giga. Tamed Giga, not a wild one. I want to spawn that in here at base. And we'll spawn one in. And then see if we can actually teleport from here to there with the Giga. If not, I'm guessing there's going to be a size limit on these. I mean, it should be, right? Why else would you have the large one? So, give me a second, let me find a code, and we will do some more testing. Not going to lie, I'm super nervous here, man. We're spawning in a Giga. It says that it's a code for a tamed one. <sighs> I really hope it's tamed. Please be tamed. It is okay. <laughs> it's a, Like I said, man, it's a terrifying thing. Spawning a Giga in your base. We're not keeping it. Again, we'll kill it off before we leave. So you actually fits... ...on the mediums. What's the point of a large one, man? Maybe for taking more than one team at a time? Let's, uh, do some testing. It does work! Interesting! So... ...while we have them... Can you get a toe on the small one? Gotta have a whole toe, man. Maybe a foot, if you can get a foot on there? I don't know that's considered on the teleporter. Let's do a left foot. The right foot seems to kind of be floating. Look, man, I don't use Gigas too often, okay? There we go. I don't know if this will work. That shouldn't be for any teams, it should just be personal, right? You would think? Nope, does not work. Okay. But the medium does. Still don't understand the point of a large one. Hm. My saddlebag, buddy. We are not keeping you. You have ugly colors anyways. Alright, so give me a second. What I'm going to do is... Delete all this stuff. Junior, Junior. Calm down, buddy. Look, I'm going to get rid of him before he tears anything up. We'll go ahead and we'll set up the replicator again, and we should have enough stuff to build one of those. Like a proper one. I'm going to trash that one. We'll build a proper one in the replicator, and then probably just set it out right over here. And that way, whenever we go to transfer to Scorched Earth and back, we'll actually have a teleporter here at base, and I don't have to worry about leaving our Argentavis over at the obelisk. So give me a minute. Let me get all this kind of sorted out. Maybe the rain will be gone. And that'll be the last thing we do before the end of the day. Put my saddle back. All right, so that's all sorted. Let's grab one replicator, please. Drop you off pretty close again. Just to make it easier for... I got stuck in it, grabbing our stuff. 
Alright, so what do we need for one of the... It's still gonna show all this stuff, isn't it? That's good. We're gonna need the transmitter. So, black pearls. We'll just take the whole stack. We're gonna need some more of the crystal. Let's back up just a little bit. How much crystal do we have? That should be enough. We need some of the elements. Ah, oh, dude, it's gonna be up here. It was 80 sheets, right? 40 sheets, even better. Easy. I like the light, man. From the generator. What are we missing? Polymer and then metal ingots. 2,500. Holy crap, that's going to be a lot to move over. How is a polymer? Got 455. What was it for crafting it? 320. You know, that's not too bad, man. With all of the stuff that we built. We're almost out of metal ingots as well. Almost out of black pearls. And it was like just enough for everything. Nice, dude. Nice. Turn that on. Craft one of you. And that's it. <laughs> all that moving for that one part. Get all this back. Put it back in here where it goes. We'll grab this. We'll pick you up. So noisy, dude. Very, very noisy. Now, how do we want to do this? Do we want to just put it right here? We could extend this out. One more on the foundation, so let's do that. Not that much. Not that much. Eh, let's do 20, just in case we want to extend it some more. If we do this... Just for right now... Maybe go up one more? It'll kind of help protect the tree a little bit too, right? Alright, so that, that's set there. Let's grab some ramps. we got to make it look nice, dude. We can't just leave it like it is. We're done with those. Going to need some railings as well. Want to do stone? Or wood? Let's do wood. It's kind of what's all around here anyways. And then let's get some pillars. Actually, we're kind of, kind of heavy on weight. Let's get this sorted out first. So we want ramps over here. Under the stairs, don't need them that way. We'll do some stairs down here as well. We'll set up some of the railings. Safety first, safety first. Now we're not going to paint these. Going to leave them just normal color. That's kind of set. Do we want to do the railings down the side? We should. Makes it look a little bit better. It might be too far in the ground to do it there. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of weird. I can set them at an angle on the top. I mean, it's cool that you have options, but why would you ever do that? You know, we need some pillars just for doing the base of the lining. So many, dude! Holy crap, we had so many at the other base. That's gonna be just for around here. We'll do the corners as well. Make it look proper. And then right there. That should be good. You know what? We have to paint the... The grout. What color was the grout? That's the thing. Was it slate? Or gunmetal? There's gunmetal. I think it's slate for some reason. Let's, let's grab our paintbrush real quick. Not the paintbrush, but... Well, we need the paintbrush to find out the... Color field. Because I can't remember. Where's the paint gun? Oh, it's on us. So there's gunmetal. I think that's the color that it was. So field four. Ooh, you know what? That's gonna be slate. I don't have slate because we lost all of our stuff when we died. That's fine. Gunmetal will work. And that was field four.
Do it this way. It'll be a lot faster. You'll never be able to tell the difference if you didn't know it. It might actually be the right one. If it does, it kind of works. So yeah, it'll make it a lot easier for whenever I go to Scorched Earth and then coming back over here because we are still doing the... the tech caves, right? We got the other two flavors to do. No! I didn't want to do that. Wanted to do that. I'm just not sure if I'm going to do some more of the breeding on the theories to be able to do it, or how we want to do it, you know? The pillars, and then we are done. It's kind of been a longer video, video than I thought it was going to be. Just wanted to play with a little bit of the tech stuff, get our generator set up, and the replicator. Did not know we were going to have enough for the transmitter. Now we cannot do the boss fights right here. I mean, we got it made, so we could still do it. Just move it out, like, over there, right? That's a tail from the Giga over there. It would be pretty safe to do it over there. Turn this on. It kind of works. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. It's been a pretty good run here on the island. However, I am very, very excited to be leaving. It's, it's always good to change maps up. The island is a very old map, and everybody's played it. That's been in ARC for a long time. I've got over 5,000 hours in ASE, and a lot of it was spent on the island. But going to Scorch Earth, it should be pretty good. That is, if they get it released without a delay for tomorrow. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked the island, man. It was a very, very fun series. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.